Boston Group W, Westinghouse Broadcasting. After refueling in Panama, a hijacked Ecuadorian jetliner with 30 persons on board is reported heading for Cuba. Louisiana residents are being warned not to eat armadillos, at least not until researchers learn whether they cause leprosy. Armadillos aren't exactly a staple in most diets, but people in the southern part of the state often catch them and cook them at home. That's the news from AP Radio Washington. This is Bill Stabler. Good job, Bill. And now we go out to uh, Los Angeles, California, and chat with Jelly Belly Dave. Hello, Jelly Belly. Good morning. Hi. Jelly Belly, I've heard of a lot of names, but this is almost self-explanatory. I Jelly... weigh about 240 pounds. 240 pounds. How tall are you? Uh, about 5'9". I've got a little Jelly Belly. I'll admit that. Jelly Belly Dave. And you're, where were you from originally? No one's from originally from Los Angeles. Where were you from? Uh, you, you, you got it on, right on the nose. Syracuse, New York. Syracuse. We have a lot of listeners up in Syracuse, Jelly Belly. I'd like to say hello to all my friends there. Do they know you as Jelly Belly, Dave? No. Uh, I, about a year ago, I was an attorney out here. I'll be a son of a gun. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I got a little fed up with everybody suing everybody else. Go ahead. And I decided why not to dedicate my life to the uh, career of making the finest jelly bean I could. What's your last name, a barrister? Uh, Dave Klein. K-L-I? K-L-E-I-N. E- and about a year ago, I set out not knowing anything at all about the jelly bean field. <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh, sometimes you're better off not knowing anything. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> That's and, funny. Um, I started experimenting around with various formulas. I wanted to make a bean with less sugar uh-huh. than the bean that had been made. Right. And in place of the sugar, uh, I wanted to put real natural ingredients. We make one bean with real peanut butter. I never heard of a jelly bean with peanut butter. Uh, well, we're, we're doing it. Uh, it gave us a lot of problem. In fact, for a while, we were calling it our Liberian bean. The oil kept on spilling out from the center. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but we finally perfected it by making the shell just a little bit harder. Uh, what do you call that particular jelly bean? Uh, it's called a pre- presidential bean in, order, in honor of President Carter. <laughs> and, uh... I know, that's creativity. I, now, I'm going to give you a round of applause, Dave. Hold it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, I like creative people. You and, like that, huh? And another thing. Now, I didn't know whether I was going to like you or not, but I like you for this reason. Here you are, a lawyer... And uh, and you've gone through a lot of studying, a lot of homework, a lot of work to become a lawyer. Right. Especially in New York State. Did you practice in New York, too? No, no, out in California. In California. And then to give that up, you, are you through with law? Um, I mean, well, do you have a practice? Do you take clients? No, no. The, the bean business takes my full time now. Um, in fact, I made the uh, centerfold of People magazine about two months ago. I... I posed with 350 pounds in a bathtub of Jelly Bellies. Now, how old are you, Dave? Uh, 31 years old. 31. Now, what did your mother and father? They said, Dave. They thought I was crazy. Dave, are you crazy or something, Dave? This guy's got to be crazy. Dave, it's a jelly bean business. You're a lawyer. A a respected (laughs) member of the community, a lawyer. You know what my wife said, though? What? She said, look, you got to do in life what's going to make you happy. That's right. And if if you want to do it, go ahead. Now, let me ask you this. This is interesting to me because I, I, I don't know why, but I'm intrigued when I, when I see people, I read these newspaper articles about these people in New York City advertising uh, uh, executives, uh, other types of people under you know pressure, sure. g- giving it up and, and opening up a little restaurant or a, a little uh, lodge or up in the woods someplace. Exactly. Can I say to myself, now, let's say a guy makes 50, 60, 70, 80 grand a year. Right. And he has to give this up on a gamble for maybe 10 or, 10 or 12 grand a year, if he's lucky at the beginning. Well, uh, how, does that, how, does that, how does that sit with your wife? I mean, uh... In the very beginning, uh, I opened up a little retail store selling nothing but jelly beans. Okay, these are commercial. You got these from somebody else. You were, no, right? our own beans. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, I opened a little store after we had experimented with various formulas. Now, did your wife help you, or were you in this? Oh, uh, she, right from the start. She helped you make them and everything, right? Uh, the manufacturer. The whole work. Go ahead. Uh, I opened a little retail store, and in the very beginning, we were 
taking in maybe five, ten dollars a day at the most. And I, I used to talk to myself at night on the way home, uh, literally wondering. Uh, what would you say, Dave? I said I, I must be crazy. <laughs> uh, there were days we were giving away more in samples than we sold. And finally, we got our first big break. Now, let me ask you this. Now, if it's too personal, don't answer. No, heck no. But when you were, uh, just before you gave up your law practice, what income bracket? 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, what income were you? Uh, over 50. Over 50? Right. Now, that takes guts, Jelly Belly. Uh, over 50, and you said, I'll leave it there, Chief. And uh, how much money were you willing to risk on this thing? Uh, how much time and money? It was more time than money. Right. It was, it was more of a, of a time. Uh, cause, well, there was money, too. Listen, you can't start any business today on a shoestring. I don't care uh, what business it is. Now, when did you do this? When did you say, close your practice? Uh, about a year ago. Uh, about huh? a year ago. And uh, for the first, well, it took about three months to really kick the business over. Uh, and we got to the point... After, um, oh goodness, we, right now we're about a, at 190% of capacity. Of the, it's just unreal, the orders. We're selling to uh, Bloomingdale's, Marshall Fields, <laughs> uh, and... That's amazing. Fortunately, we haven't had to go out and solicit any business. Uh, how, well, uh, let's see, where is, where is your location? Uh, it, is it a factory and retail outlet? Right. We're in, uh, actually, we're in Alhambra. California. How far is that from Los Angeles? Which maybe, way? Maybe 10 minutes. Top 10 minutes. Walking, driving, or flying? Uh, <laughs> uh, driving. Driving. Which about way? 10 miles. It's north, south of Los Angeles? Uh, west. West. Okay. Now, you live out in that area, too? Uh, I live in the San Gabriel Valley. Correct. Okay. So, you open up a, a factory and a retail outlet. Right, a small little store. Right. Uh, in a day, what's the and uh, we concentrated on unusual flavors of jelly beans that have never been made before, uh, such as watermelon, uh, chocolate pudding. But Dave, where did you get the, I mean, where did you uh, get the knowledge? I mean, like, uh, I don't even, you, you, I can tell by talking to you that you didn't. You weren't a cook. I mean, you, nothing about nothing, it at nothing. all. I mean, jelly beans. Where'd you get the information on how to make a jelly bean and, and uh, the ingredients and, and about their how long they would last and, and how to merchandise and market them? Uh, okay, as far as the knowledge, the actual technical knowledge, uh, I was very, very fortunate. I found a food chemist who was willing to give me some of his time. Oh, okay. So anything really is available at a price. That's true, too. Right. I uh, agree. And in his spare time, uh, he worked with us, because I knew nothing about uh, about jelly beans. <laughs> as far as marketing it goes, we were extremely fortunate. Uh, Associated Press ran a story on us, and that must have appeared in over 100 newspapers. And that was really our first... Uh, big break, and from there, uh, I just got back doing, I did the Mike Douglas show, I went to Philadelphia to do that, and I do a little dance, it's called the Jelly Belly Shake, <laughs> and I, while I'm making my milkshake, which is made with eight ounces of milk, six ice cubes, and a quarter of a pound of any flavor jelly bean you so desire, I do a dance while it's shaking in the wearing blender. <laughs> I do a dance to the tune of Shake, Shake, Shake by Casey and the Sunshine Band. <laughs> and the dance is a combination between Jackie Gleason's and Away We Go, a little bit of the boogaloo, and a little bit of the twist. And all 240 pounds of me are shaking while, <laughs> while it's in the blender. <laughs> and we've been trying to stay one step. You know, when you make a, a product, that's, that's new and revolutionary in the business. We flavor the inside of our bean as well as the shell. Most, well, all jelly bean companies until we came along put flavoring just on the outside coating. And we wanted to stick the flavoring in the inside as well. That really separates our bean from the rest. Plus, they're much smaller than the average bean. We give about 500 beans to the, to the pound. So they're 
very, very small. Now, what are the other beans? Uh, the normal. What's your competition? How many beans do they have to the pound? The pound about two hundred. Oh yeah. And uh, we really created quite a stir in the business. Uh, you're, we're bucking companies that are owned by conglomerates. That you're, uh, they could put us. Uh, they could put us in their in their back pocket. I mean, they're. Uh, the big boys in the industry are, uh, they've been around 100, 150 years. And here we came along, and uh, they have been making jelly beans in the same flavors for, for years without without really any need to change. No, Nobody had really tried to create any new flavors. In fact, we just came out with a... I was uh, going to ask you what some of the, uh, your best flavors are. Uh, our number one seller is our watermelon bean one for its taste and two for the novelty effect. It's the only bean in the world which is two toned. It's green on the outside and pink on the inside. So our watermelon bean I would have to rank as just about number one. We just came out with a uh, chocolate banana bean <laughs> and a baked apple which is cinnamon on the outside and apple on the inside. In fact, uh, we're at the point right now where we can't supply all the orders, but we give number one preference to our mail order business. We 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 take care of the small orders first. You don't have any salesmen out selling it. No, no, we we've never had any salesmen out selling it. What kind of people come into your store and and purchase at retail? Uh, from all walks of life. We've had people that read about us in magazine articles that. Uh, uh, stopped at the International Airport in, in Inglewood, and we've had several people say, I had to come to see your place. <laughs> they just came to see it, and then they took the next plane out. Jelly, Jelly Belly Dave. Jelly Belly Dave. That's amazing. Now, what about, on the, on the personal social side, what about your relationship with your wife? Has it been better or worse that you become a, a jelly bean magnet? That's an interesting question. I've never been asked that before. Uh... Our relationship was always, uh, always one of mutual respect, and we always talked over everything. Uh, what, what we wanted to do in life. We have a little boy, little Jelly Belly Junior, <laughs> and uh, he's two years old, and uh, another one on the way. And we always, we always talked and shared ideas, and there was always an open line of communication. And uh, I can't really say it's gotten better. It's it's, 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 our marriage has always been, uh, we've been married five years, and our, our marriage is, is, is as strong as it's ever been. That's good. Uh, she worked with me right along, the, right along the way. We both worked together, and uh, we both had to make sacrifices along the way. Did you, did you ever at any time regret leaving the law practice for this? Um, sometimes when I was taking in... Five dollars a day, and it was raining at night. I uh, I had second thoughts. Now another thing that's uh, if it's if it's too personal, don't answer. But you started off with like five or ten dollars a day, right? And you've been in business for one year. Could you tell us in what bracket, what your gross, what your, your the gross uh, sales for the jelly bean business was for the first year? Uh, roughly, yeah. Well, nice. you got to realize one thing. Yes. We got a lot of <laughs> a lot of competitors out there now. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. A lot of people might be listening now. Uh, and a tremendous amount of, of of competitors. Within the past, Larry, within the past month, three companies have sprung up that are trying to imitate our our product. That was I was going to come to that question. I uh, mean, if you have something good, then other people will copy it. More power to them. My feeling is this: uh, there has to be other products on the market to make people appreciate something that, that they're considered a gourmet item. I do want to hear something. Besides being in broadcasting, I'm also in another business, in motivation. Right. And uh, and I I had some instructors, and I've got three of them. They open up their own places now after we talk them. I got three of them right here in the same community. I say God bless. Uh, it's a big world out there, Larry. Oh, I know. There's more than we, there's more uh, we can hear. It's just that we've got to do something that's good. 
well, then people are going to copy it. I was going to ask you that. I mean, you have uh, something they, good? They, they will. Uh, a very good friend of mine is Wally Amos from uh, Famous Amos Cookies. I've uh, known Wally for a long time now. He's had a lot of people copy him. And I asked him uh, once how he felt about it. He said, Dave, it's a part of business. You go uh, along, you do the best you can, That's you right. try your darndest, you make the best product that you yourself know how. Just to give you an idea, uh, cinnamon flavoring is available. Uh, a standard cinnamon flavoring would usually run around $6 a bottle. Our cinnamon flavoring is 46 a bottle. Uh, in place of a compound in our chocolate pudding, we use real, uh, real cocoa instead of a vegetable compound. It's a question of putting in good stuff to get a good finished product. Your finished product is, is a end result of what you put into it. Hey, Jelly Belly, you know what I would like? Mm. A peanut butter jelly bean. <laughs> I love peanut butter. You do love peanut butter. Yeah. Now, do you have any, you don't have anyone buying your product here in Boston, do you? Uh, no. Uh, the only way your listeners can buy it is, is through our mail order division. Uh, we will mail a two-pound package of our beans anywhere in the United States uh, for six dollars, and we will pick up the uh, the postage on that. Okay. Now I'm going to send for. I'm going to send. How much is it? Six dollars. Six dollars will give you two pounds. Two pounds of uh, about a thousand beans. I don't want anybody to actually go out there and count them. Now let me ask you this. Now, as, now, if I order the peanut butter, I'll get just the peanut butter jelly. Well, you can right? order. You can order straight flavors. That's what makes it nice about our beans. You don't. You, we don't force anybody to buy just uh, uh, the, the assortment. If people like green apple, they can buy green apple. If they like tangerine. And the surprising thing is there are a lot of people out there that love licorice beans, and no matter what beans we place in front of them, the licorice bean people are the most loyal people in the world. They, <laughs> they won't even try another bean. Now, uh, on that $2, uh, two, uh, the two-pound package, uh, it, how do you usually sell them? Assorted or... That's just... usually assorted. People, on the, if they've never tasted our product, they want all of our 20-some-odd flavors. Uh, and we put in as many flavors as we have at the time of shipping. Sometimes it's 28, sometimes it's 19. It all depends what we have. Snow and freezing rain in much of Texas, all of Oklahoma, parts of eastern New Mexico, parts of southern Missouri, southern Louisiana, southern Mississippi, except the uh, coastal sections of the country. Dan Shea, for a little bit is which? Yes, that's getting to be the hard, hard point. There's just so many colors. And uh, Each one so the... far, we've we've been lucky by keep, we. You can tell you can tell them all. Yeah, uh, each color is is distinct and, and unique. Now, do you eat many of these yourself? I still, after all the exposure to them, I am still a jelly bean fanatic. And your wife says, Dave, will you leave the jelly beans alone? Exactly. But I can't. I gotta have them. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm addicted to them. I need a jelly bean. Uh, What's the address, Jelly Jelly Belly Dave? Our address is called the Jelly Belly. Uh, jelly Belly. And our address is 18... 18... 1824. 1824. West Main. West Main. M-A-I-N, and that's in Alhambra. L-A-L. H-A-M-C-R-A, all one word. Alhambra, California, 91801. By the way, we are, we are working on the first sugarless bean in the world. Uh-huh. Uh, and we're just about ready to... We had a few setbacks along the way. Every time we just about are ready to introduce it, the government bans one of the... Uh, ingredients, eh? Ingredients. They just went after uh, xylitol. It's still up in the air what they're going to do with it, but it's a little frightening to pour a lot of money into research and then not be able to introduce the product. But we're working on that now. It's just a question of perfecting the uh, the bloom on the gelatin. One more thing about calories. Uh, I'd be interested in that sugarless too. What about the uh, calories uh, on a say a two pound box? Do you, have you figured out the calorie oh, sure. count? We know uh, we know what the average what, calorie count I'm, is. Naturally, it varies is it? according to according to flavor. Uh, the average. What's the, the average calorie? Is four calories per bean. 
Uh-huh. And that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to come out with a small bean. The average person, when they buy a Hershey bar or a chocolate bar in a, in a supermarket, a uh, 15, 20 cent bar, I guess they're going for now, you've you got to eat the whole thing. Uh, at least people that I know, I, I always had to eat the whole thing. This, and uh, you're looking at 200, 250 calories. Uh, this way, if you have a need for something sweet, you can pop a couple beans in your mouth, and you're only looking at four calories each. That's why I wanted to deliberately make them small. And uh, as I say, you get about 500 to the pound, which, uh, which gives you some idea how small they actually are. Uh, it'd be and, uh, interesting to see how you make them. Well, listen, Jelly Belly Dave Klein. I want to thank you very much. Jelly Belly, 1824 West Main Street, Alhambra, California, 91801. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Jelly I Belly. I would li- love to uh, hear from anybody, any new flavors that they, uh, that they <laughs> think of. I'm always willing to, to, to experiment. Okay, and if anyone has a lawsuit, uh, Dave will handle it in the back room. Sure, funny. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> so long, Dave. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Are you tired of the old, boring restaurants and night spots? Well, why don't you try something new? And, oh, wait a minute. Did I do that? I did that. 